How's everybody doing? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. I had a subscriber reach out and he needed to know how do you do breakouts and I did not create a video on breakouts but I did do something similar called alternates which not a technically is the same but it's similar so alternates you want to give an alternate price breakouts breakouts they want certain areas broken out maybe they want to do it maybe they don't want to do it depending on the price so we're going to show you how, how this is uh, pretty fairly simple all right so i got a test up job and what we're going to do is we're just going to put some random things in here and then we're going to show you how to break it out so we're going to do a couple of fixtures I'm going to do F1 and and we're going to do an F2. Okay. And we'll do an F3. Now for right now it doesn't matter if anything's in there just the fixtures and that's not what we're going to do right now all right so first off you're going to take it off optional you can put where the drawing is but we do want to call out the area because this is how we're going to deem the breakout so right now i have an office 101 office 102 conference bathroom corridor right we're just going to stick with fixtures for this time and then we're going to say there's <clears throat> 20 of these in there and yeah that's one big uh, office room <laughs> uh, we'll put five F2's okay and then now we'll go into office 102 and we'll say there's 10 of those five of those three of those the conference room we'll just say there's 15 of those, 5 of those, bathrooms, say there's 5 of those, and then corridors, we'll say it's 30 of those, alright, so every fixture is now assigned to a certain area now if you took it off exactly how it's done here you can add devices as long as it's assigned to that area you should be more than fine now we'll go to extension and what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the unit price of the F1 we got from the supply house they said that uh, F1's are $180 F2's are $240 and F3s are 90. All right, so I'm gonna keep this back to my base bid. So here's the total cost of the fixtures. Uh, there's some labor assigned to it. And we'll go to our final price. And we'll say we wanna have this overall 10% and then 5% markup and 5% labor markup. So it's 26,548 for the whole job, right? You're gonna see this bid breakdown. Now, if you need a breakout of each area because the owner wants to know what he's paying for, I, you know, maybe he's charging it to the tenant, you know, whatever the case may be, you can go to breakdown view and then go by area hit add, I'm sorry hit add and then area it'll break it out in area um, if you do have any other expenses that might be associated with this whole job click these two and it basically it's gonna uh, prorate it to each of them but basically just evenly break it out across each area all right so now what you're gonna see is all five of the areas swing all the way over you're gonna see the total cost 
for each area. So, owner says, what's the cost of this Office 101? Six nine nine three fifty nine. Well, what's the total cost of the fixtures for that area? It should be forty eight hundred, right? Quoted material extension. Yes, quoted material. Correct. So that's your data mist material and your quoted material. So these are your fixtures right here. So forty eight hundred bucks for the fixtures for there. So everything is basically broken out right here. It gives you labor total hours and you know your overhead and your markup but just keep in mind that this is this overall markup that you got right here is basically dividing it amongst all of these so you'll come up with the same exact price the 26 548 now this works for um, anything as long as you're assigning it to whatever space this needs to go to it will the breakout should be totally accurate based on what your takeoff is so if I start adding stuff like uh, devices uh, let's see receptacles Uh, we'll just put 10 of those there and then what I'll do is I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm just gonna keep pasting them in there alrighty Breakdown now. If you're going to break down, you're going to see that there's things that have not changed yet. There's going to be at the bottom, there's going to be a remainder. What that means is it hasn't been allocated yet. You have to do um, basically a reload, and then you'll see it's now gone. So anything you did prior to that and adding new after that will have a remainder unless you hit reload. So now everything is allocated to the per, uh, correct area. So you now you see you got some database material. It's all the same because I just copied the exact same thing across all five of the areas. And then now here's your new breakout. So if the owner wants breakout with all the receptacles or, or whatnot, you can take this um, a step further. It gets kind of weird in the program because it will sometimes it'll allow you to do it sometimes it won't you could do by area <clears throat> and system so let's see you can like stack these so let's say we could do area and then do system I believe that should work there you go so now you have a breakout for the fixtures, wiring devices, offer um, area, uh, office 101. So there's, if you needed to get in this much detail, which, uh, to be perfectly honest, I, I've had to do something like this before, and it took days to do it because it was a multi-million dollar job with fixtures, and they they wanted to know every single dollar being spent on this job, and it was. Oh, but it was time consuming. Um, but yeah, if you need to do something like that, this is a different way. So if you never did this before, it's a pretty cool way to, you know, dive into it. You can play around with it. You can even do things where you got, if you got the, your material and sort codes, you can do a lot of cool things with these that can, can help you out as an estimator. Um, also a project manager too, because, um, you're, you're going to be doing lots of change orders and you need to know how to utilize these things and if you don't have um, change order pro then it's obviously it's going to take a lot longer uh, to do things especially if you never estimate before and I tell you one thing right off the hand I wish 
I wouldn't accept I would accept it a estimator position before I started doing project management because once you become an estimator and you get that things down solid solid pat your hours your labor material how you do equipment lifts you 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 learn so much doing that that you can apply as a project manager and you can now become dangerous when you're a project manager that know, knows how to accurately price up change orders you can you know you you can also be dangerous and, and miss a lot of things if nobody's reviewing them but you could become really solid project manager if you learn how to uh, estimate first all right once again alfred flores ceo president of new age electric uh any questions drop a comment uh if you haven't subscribed click subscribe we'll see you next time